it's Christy with Rustic Fire Creations. I am here to show you how to make a little miniature butterfly like this one. Now, so this is a tutorial, you don't actually have to make miniature. You could take what I'm teaching you here and make it for a larger subject. But we're going to do little, at least I'm doing little for this video. Um, I'm not showing you how to make the flower, but if you look through the videos here um, or on a YouTube channel, if you're watching this somewhere else, uh, I have several tutorials for flowers that you could go off of and then put this guy on here. I adhere this guy to the flower using the Barely Art Precision Glue that we sell on the website. So to get started, I'm just going to give you a rundown of what I'm using. I have a felt sheet. Uh, you can just go with whatever color you want for a felt sheet. Um, this is 100% wool. Um, and then I have fabric paint that I'm going to be using. And then an X-Acto knife. Very, for the small butterfly of it, very small sized. Um, paintbrush. Then you're going to need your felting surface, felting needles. For the body, I'm just using some um, seal core. Uh, this is the Maori core that we sell on the site. And then for his antennas and legs, I'm using the very thin 28 gauge steel wire, wire cutters, floral tape, and then scissors. All right, um, I think that's it. So I'll start going. We might come up with something that I'm missing here, but I think that's all our supplies that we're going to be needing to make these. So let's get going. For getting started, we're going to take our felt sheet and our exacto knife. And so you want to make four teardrop shapes. Make two that are skinnier and two that are larger. Now you could draw on the felt sheet to do this, or you can simply freehand it like I'm doing. I won't promise this freehanding always works, but I just tend to go for it on things sometimes. So there's one, I can kind of trace it here to get the next one. And this one looks a little skinnier, so this one will probably be our top wing, like that. So I'm going to make, I'm not going to trace anymore. I think sometimes when you trace with the felt sheet and this, the way you angle the exact knife ends up making them smaller than you wanted. So I am once again going in with my good old eyeball. Okay. And then one more slightly larger. If I can eyeball it right, I might end up making another one. Perfect. So those are my four little pieces. Yeah, maybe a better view here. Nope, not gonna work. But those are them. Those are the four pieces. Um. So now that I have those, I'm gonna set those aside. 
and we're gonna go and do um, the next part. We could go ahead and start painting those, but I'm gonna show you kind of piece by piece how we're gonna do it. We'll paint them and then let them dry, paint the, the other side, and then we'll put it all together. So I'm gonna take floral tape and the wire. So if you haven't seen this yet, I've kind of started doing for this really thin wire, taking the floral tape and cutting it. Sometimes in half, sometimes in fourths. It kind of depends on what I'm making, how skinny the wire is. So I'm probably going about thirds here. You don't have to go thirds. You could go half. It'd be fine. Okay. That's just kind of what happened when I started cutting it here. And I have actually just started using floral taped wire. Like I started just free wrapping this wire. Um, I have a video that I just did um, that is up on YouTube too. Um, that pretty much shows you how to, to do this. Sorry, I'm concentrating on this and trying to talk and I'm not doing very good. Uh, to make bird legs. To pre-wrap wire and then make bird legs. It saves so much time. Because if you cut the wire first, then you have to cut the wire, put the legs together. Then you have to go and wrap around it. And I found if I go and wrap the wire first, I can throw those legs together so quick. It takes no time at all. So just make sure as you go, you kind of just squeeze it and make sure it's going on tight. So when we go and cut it, it doesn't slip. And that's one of the other reasons I like to cut the floral tape and have to do this. Um, because if you use the wider piece of floral tape and you wrap it, you're going to most likely have little gaps. Um, if you can pull it super tight, way to go. You're awesome at it. But sometimes I get going so quick that I don't um, get it pulled as tight as it should. And when I go and cut it, it leaves gaps. So what we're doing with this is we're going to be cutting legs and antennas. We don't need very much, so I might just leave it at that. Okay. I'm going to cut the top part a little. And then we're going to want six pieces all about the same length. And once again, because of me, I'm eyeballing it. We're going with about half an inch. Could go a little smaller. Um, and we might end up trimming these once we see the size of the final for the um, butterfly. Then we can go back and say, oh, no, never mind. Too long. Or you can, I mean, you might have to recut, I guess. If, uh, especially if you're making a bigger one. If you're making a bigger one, you're going to want to cut these a little longer than what I am. Or... Five... Oh, 
see I swear I didn't pull it so tight and there's a little wire cut sticking out so I'm gonna cut that and I'm sure I'm gonna want to trim these they are kind of a little long but we have them now so we can and these are gonna be put to the side too along with their wings so the, now we have our wings we have our six lengths of wire and now we're going to do the body so you can choose whatever colors you're doing for the body like i said i'm doing a seal black mayori wool that we have body goes together fairly fast. You just need a thin piece of wool. Sorry, I'm drinking coffee as I'm doing this too. So that's, that's what's happening right now. Um, so yeah, very thin piece. And then I'm using a 40 gauge wire. I mean, 40 gauge needle. Sorry, I'm talking about wires. And we're just going to the body and I like to um, get it fairly well felted for this So I forgot to add, so I am using the seal for the body, but for the head, I'm using a pure black um, wool to give it just a little contrast. And then to make sure that the head is, I mean, the body is close to the right size, you can take your wings just kind of compare make sure you're not going too big too small so this is a little big but once I start poking it some more we're gonna get it smaller so I'm not too worried like so I'm gonna go ahead and get the head added so to do that I have the black like I said Don't want too much rolling it in my fingers to make it into a little ball and then I'm gonna attach it but I'm gonna try it and keep that shape of a little round ball so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm just gonna keep working on this and Felt it down, firm it up. I'm going to go over it with my 42 gauge wire. Oh, I keep on saying wire. Gosh, need more coffee. Um, 42 gauge needle to really um, firm it up. So, this will probably take me another 5 10 minutes. So, I will be back with the finished product here for you guys. All right, hello again. I got the body finished. So now I'm going to take these wings. So we have wings, we have the legs, antennae, and the body. So now we're going to go ahead and paint with the wings. So you can go based on off pictures, or you can uh, just wing it, <laughs> pun intended. That's what I'm going to be doing. Um, so I'm going to take... This is more of a purple that I have. I have a royal blue. I have a white. You can play with whatever colors you want, whatever you have available. So, of course, it's a butterfly. So, you want the same pattern to be on the both sides, opposite wing here. 
I'm not going to make you watch me do these whole wings because this is kind of just, like I said, winging it. Uh, so once I get this side done, I'm going to paint the opposite side. So when you're painting these, you can kind of use your finger, but be careful and dab um, to get the paint to penetrate through even more. Or if you get too much on there, like on this one, it's just a little thick. That's okay. We'll go back through on this one. We get a little thick. I am totally, actually I did that one on the wrong side, so these are going to be, um, this will be the back of one and this will be the front of one, but that, okay, we, we make this work. One of the challenges of doing a video and doing this, I kind of get sidetracked and forget what I'm doing, where I'm at. So I'm just going to continue doing this. This might be a little boring for you guys to watch me just paint wings. And then... I will go ahead and do both sides, let them dry, and then I will show you how we attach all of this together. Hi, I'm back and I have the wings done, painted on both sides. And now we're gonna start putting our butterfly together. So we have all our parts, the wings, the body, and then the legs and the antennae. So then what you're going to do, um, I have, this is a 40 gauge needle. We're going to go ahead and attach the wings. So you can either attach them so that they're out like this by felting in the little corner. I'm going to do this one so that they're more up. Um, the wings folded in. And so gonna felt these on. Oh, my overhead lights flickering so you might see that for a second. It should go away pretty soon here. All right, there's one side and I'm gonna do the top wing here. Make sure I have it on there, right? That would be important. Watch your fingers doing this part. I'm trying to make sure you guys can see what I'm doing here. Okay. And then Same. Let's start with this one. I should have started with the little guy first. Right. This part, putting it together, can be the most tricky the whole process. Making the body, making the wings isn't too difficult. Um, but putting it together, especially att attaching the legs, can be a little bit of a headache. But I'm trying, trying to make it as easy as possible. So there he is with his wings on. So we did the legs and everything. I think though, I mean, look at this. 
we got to trim those down. So probably going to go about half of what I have. And that's probably good. Then this one's so long, I can make it into more means I have extra legs for another project or antennae. A little, little snip. So get these cut and then what we're going to do is attach them using the Barely Art Precision Glue. You can use another clear dry glue, but I really like this one and I trust that it's going to work. So that's why I stick with it. So I'm cutting the antennae too. When it comes to making these, I would always rather start big with the legs and then ten up and um, make them too small and have to redo. So this is the Barely Art Precision Glue um, that we sell on the website. We have this size, which is a four ounce. Then we have the mini, which is half this size. Actually, so before I attach them, I'm going to give it a little tiny bend so that it's going to stick out a little. Do this even to the antennae here. And then you can take your glue put just a little on the end and glue them in place and you're going to have to hold it for 30 seconds or so then do that to all the other legs and where the antennae is um, and this is the part that can be super tedious because you have to hold it see and then when I start to wiggle who wants to wiggle you can add more glue though this glue kind of disappears into everything so it's not a huge deal if you have to add more um so just add your legs your antennae doing this I'm gonna come back to you once I have everything attached and we'll take a peek at the finished product all right so I got the legs and antenna glued on and this is the finished product. So once the glue sets, it takes about 24 hours for it to uh, fully set. So it's been glued for probably half an hour so far, and it's pretty stable. But um, once it's fully set, you can glue it to whatever. It's not going to stand on its own very well. So I recommend mounting it attaching it to something else like what I did with the flower that I showed you in the beginning um, and the way I do that is I use that same um, precision glue that we sell the barely art and I would put a dab on the bottom of each of its feet and then place it where it needs to go and let it set and dry but there you have it a miniature butterfly and maybe yours will be a big butterfly, but this is what I came up with. I'll catch you on the next tutorial. Have a good day.